Stage four of Izulia, the tour of the Basque Country, 185 hilly kilometers, starting in Vittoria Gastiers and ending up in Zamudio with a very difficult finishing circuit. A 13-man breakaway was reduced to nine by the time they hit one lap to go. Bruno Amaral leading them through, Geraint Thomas also there, Davide Formolo, Victor Lafay of Copadis, and also Ruben Guerrero in the mix. They held a lead of around two minutes and 40 seconds over the bunch behind as they approached the hardest climb of the day, the fearsome slopes of the Bavero. And there was the gap. Total Energy is in control at the front of the bunch. Meanwhile, up in front of the race, it was the man from Lyon, Victor Lafay, who romped clear, dancing on the pedals up the brutally steep slopes of this climb, fracturing the group and leading these four riders to chase. Amiral, Guero, also Geraint Thomas there too. And then a little bit further down the road, there are several big attacks from GC protagonists, including this man, Julian Alaphilippe, and an orthodox attack from the drainage ditch. Meanwhile, over the top of the climb, with a gap of just over a minute, Victor Lafay was flying, hoping to add to his Giro d'Italia stage victory last year. Meanwhile, the peloton were plummeting down the other side of the climb, heading towards Zamudio. A couple of the troops on the front, Bahrain victorious, also Quickstep Alpha Vinyl also joining in the mix as they plummeted down at speeds approaching 80 kilometers an hour. And then disaster struck for Pierre Latour of Total Energies, coming to grief on the approach to the town at high speeds, a nasty crash indeed. Several teams continued to pile on the pressure at the front, and this in turn eroded the lead of the man on in front, Victor Lafay. But he was still looking strong, and with seven kilometers to go, still had a lead of just under a minute. Then it was the turn of UET Merits to pile on the pressure on the front. Marc Soler pulling some long turns and in the process the lead was being reduced quite dramatically. That team looking after the sprinting interest of Diego Ulissi. Closing kilometres, the lead crumbled even further and then with 1300 metres to go, Renko Evenepoel hit the front looking after Julien Alaphilippe and the lead then completely capitulated and within sight almost of the finish, Victor Lafay was caught. Taking the inside line was Danny Martinez of the Ineos Grenadiers. He opened up his sprint with about 150 metres to go, up the 4% climb to the line, and he held on to the finish by a whisker, just beating Julien Alaphilippe to take a well-deserved stage win, his first road win of the season. Another thrilling finale. And the Colombian congratulated by his teammates there, Ben Tillett and also Geraint Thomas, who've been in the breakaway. Adam Yates also getting in on the celebratory action. It was a perfectly timed, powerful sprint with a perfect line that delivered the Colombian to a fine, fine victory. Although for a moment, we thought he didn't have it, but then confirmation, a stage win in the bag. So Danny Martinez wins ahead of Alaphilippe, Ulissi, Roglic, Bilbao, Ola, Guero, Molard, Vlasov and Gianluca Landilla. The man though in yellow as we head into stage five remains Primoz Roglic. Good day for him with fourth place and he still holds a five second lead heading into the next stage. So Roglic leads ahead of Evnopol Martinez in third. Then we have Vlasov, Yates, Bilbao, Vingigo, Izegede, Alaphilippe and Deli Godu. Next on the menu on stage five, we head to Malabia over 163 kilometers. Make sure you don't miss it.